a sight that's getting to be all too common in the Ottawa area. We grew up in Ottawa and this wasn't happening when I was a kid. And that's Steve a Spratt grew up here. His home was spared damage Thursday night, but not these trees he remembers from childhood, nor his pool shed. I feel for anybody else has more damage than we have. Luckily nobody was hurt. That's the main thing. Emergency officials indeed report no injuries from this latest tornado. People here are getting used to severe weather warnings after twin tornadoes touched down just a few weeks ago and a major thunderstorm bringing storm winds and large hail hit last week. When you do have a severe thunderstorm warning, know what to do. You're, you're not safe outside, you need to go indoors. If there's a tornado warning, the basement's the best spot. Research into twisters has been ramping up in Canada. This team from Western University delving deep into damage assessment every time there's a touchdown. The specialists admit it can be difficult to see them coming. For reference, you get a new radar scan every six minutes and tornadoes can last as quickly as a minute. So if something happens in between those radar scans, it can be very hard to warn for those events. But from drones to satellite footage, their tools point towards central Canada becoming more of a danger zone. It's starting to put the pieces together and we're just starting to see that this area is much more tornado prone than we thought. Research suggests the dry air that's typical in western Canada is moving east and that, coupled with climate change, could be behind any increase in tornadoes here. Scientists need more data to be sure, something they may get with this apparent surge. Rafi Mujikani, NCBC News, Ottawa.